Dear child of God, help is on the way. Help is on the way. Help is on the way. Trust God. Stand your ground and believe you will see the help of God in the name of Jesus. Psalms 20 verse 2 says, Send thee help from the sanctuary, strengthen thee out of Zion. Dear child of God, the Lord is sending his help to you. He has the God that rideth in the heavens. Is coming to their rescue. Is coming to help you. You will see his mighty hand. You will see his mighty hand of deliverance. You will see him touch every area of your life that needs to be touched. And you will rejoice so greatly in the name of Jesus. The word of God in Deuteronomy 33 verse 26 says, There is none like unto the God of Jeshurun, who rideth upon the heaven in the help. He says, and in his excellency on the sky. Dear child of God, God is sending his host. He's going to help you. He's going to turn everything around. He knows that in him you have your delight and he will not disappoint you. He knows how you have told people that God is coming for my rescue. He said he's going to help me and I believe him. Dear child of God, God will not put those words to shame. God will not disappoint you. He said I would help you. He said, I would uphold you. I will strengthen you with my righteous right hand. Dear child of God, the Lord will see you through and it will cause you to rejoice. Isaiah 50 verse 9 says, Behold, the Lord God will help me. Isaiah was faced with this situation and he knew that no one else would be able to help him but God. And then he was very assured in his heart before he made this confession saying, Behold, the Lord God will help me. Dear child of God, why don't you arise today? Arise today with your voice of confidence unto God and say, I know that the Lord God will help me. He was saying to them, see, behold me, see. He was saying to them, pay attention to what I'm saying. The Lord God will help me. They may have mocked you, dear child of God. They may have laughed at you. They may have ridiculed you night and day, but today, look to them in the eyes and say to them, Behold, the Lord God will help me. He will come to my rescue. He will turn everything around. He will give me reasons to rejoice. He will give me a testimony. He will cause me to dance. He will settle every area of my life that needs settlement. He will do what he said he will do, and nothing would ever stop it. You see, God has set before you an open door that no man can shut. Dear child of God, I want you to know that today, all the help you need from heaven, all the assistance you need from God, you will begin to get them in the mighty name of Jesus. There is no one like your God. And this is what I want you to know. It doesn't matter the oppositions you have been faced with when the Lord arises for you. Oh my God. He said, every of the enemies around you, every of those ones confronting your life, every of those ones fighting your progress, he said, they would scatter. God arise today on behalf of your children. Let the enemies be scattered. Today I want to assure you and I declare upon your life, dear child of God, the Lord would arise on your behalf. He would arise and face that situation for you. And those who had laughed at you, those who had mocked you, those who had given up on you will see God come through for you. They will see God help you and you would be able to say, I have been miraculously helped. I have been graciously helped by God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You see, David was speaking. He said, Behold, God is my helper. The Lord is with them that uphold my soul. Dear child of God, have you known God to be your helper? Because sometimes this is the limitations you are faced with many times instead of you going to God to help you the word of God has said come to the throne of grace where you would obtain help and find that grace in the times of need where you will find help in the times of need but instead of you going to the throne of grace instead of you going to God presenting those situations to God you go to men you go to people who would use it to mock you who would laugh at you who would listen to you just for listening to you but not to do anything about it who in their heart do not have any intention to help you. They do not have any desire to be of help to you. But those are the people you go to. 
and you leave God. You leave God and go to them. At the end of the day, you have been disappointed. Dear child of God, today it's time that you arise to God. It's time that you shut your eyes to those people who would not help you, who are looking as if they are going to help you, but are waiting to make jest of you. They are just wanting to listen to you. They want to hear you out so they can use it against you, so they can use it to mock you, so they can use it to laugh at you. Dear child of God, take those matters to God because He is your helper. He alone can change your situation. He alone can fix your life. You see, our help is in the name of the Lord who made the heavens and the earth. The word of God in Psalms 124 verse 8 stated this. I want you to know, dear child of God, as you call on the name of the Lord, you will see him show up in every direction and you will see him turn the situation around in the name of Jesus. This is our help. is in the name of the Lord. So why don't you call on Jesus? Why don't you call on Jesus who said he's the altar and is the finisher of your faith? Who said he's going to settle your life? Who said you should come to him and he will give you rest? He knows that you have been burdened. He knows that you have been heavy laden. He knows that you have been praying for a change and today he wants to give you that rest. So go to him. Say my strong God, my mighty deliverer, my mighty savior, my helper, Yes, you see, he sent the Holy Ghost to be there to help you at all times. By the time Jesus was living, he said, I will send the help. I will send helper to you and he will be with you always. Dear child of God, I want you to know today that the help of God is always with you and you will never be short of the help of God. So lift up your eyes to God, to him. Yes, the psalmist was saying in Psalms 121, he said, I will lift up my eyes onto the hills from where God met my help. He says, my help come from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He says, he will not suffer my foot, my God. He says, he will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He would keep you. He doesn't sleep. Dear child of God, he said, he will keep you. He doesn't slumber. Why don't you trust him? Why don't you have confidence in him, dear child of God? Why don't you put everything in his hand saying, Lord, you have promised to help me. I bring all of the matters in my life, everything concerning my health, everything concerning my marriage, everything concerning the things that I concern to me, that I burden in my heart. I bring them to you and I need your help. And I want to assure you, dear child of God, the Lord will help you. He says, Behold, he that keepeth Israel never sleep. He says, He neither sleep neither slumber. He says, the Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shed upon the right hand. Dear child of God, let him uphold you. Let him lead you on to the place of your breakthrough. Let him lead you on to the place of your victory. Let him lead you on to the place of your upliftment and turn around. God will not disappoint you. He will not put you to shame and he will cause you to rejoice greatly in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He wants to strengthen you. He knows that you have been weak. He wants to uphold you, to run your race to the finish. He wants to help you to the place where you will say, Yahweh has done me well. To the place where you will say, God had miraculously helped me. To the place you would say, God had been my supernatural help. Ebenezer has shown up for me. Dear child of God, God will show up for you. It will cause you to rejoice. It will cause you to be settled. It will cause you to live in peace and harmony because his help is going to locate you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will see a turnaround that will cause you to laugh, that will cause you to be joyful, that will cause you to rejoice in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. It is well with you, beloved. God bless you. Inshallah.